the inheritance of the saints the inheritance of the saints i'm looking at joseph and i said joseph are you running after deliverance he said why should i run after deliverance i'm one of the saints i have it already i'm asking moses are you trying to get healed he said why am i chasing after healing i've got it already i'm asking from daniel are you trying to get free from the paths of darkness he says why should i chase after deliverance i've got it already i'm asking from peter and john are you trying to get free from your enemies they said no my enemies are even afraid of me i'm asking of paul the apostle are you afraid of the powers that be he said no the powers that be are the ones that are afraid of me it's my inheritance as a sage and if you have got it already why will you be chasing after it you've got it I said you have got it. How many of you know that sometimes you have something and you don't use it? You have a Bible and you don't read it. You have a pen, a Bible, and you don't use it. You have a particular book at home and it's almost like you don't have it because you don't read it. You have a particular clothes but you have not worn it this year. That doesn't mean it is not yours it is yours but you don't wear it and then when you need it go there don't run out to the market chasing something you already have in the house it's there in the house go back there and pick it up and therefore it will not be necessary running helter skelter running up and down chasing after what we God already we have it already I said we have it already you know there are times uh, you know people uh, will say pastor where have you been I said why are you asking a question like that you know I was looking for you so that you'll be able to pray for me and I will have then they will mention that I said why do you need me to come to your house and take the book you already have and put it in your hand? You have it already. Why are you waiting for me to be able to use what you possess? Healing is yours. Deliverance is yours. Prosperity is yours. All the promises of God are yes and amen in your life. And you are going to have it today in Jesus name I'm going to change that sentence you know I said you are going to have it you are going to have it which looks like you don't have it already but you are going to have it you are going to enjoy it today in Jesus name you have it already you have it already all that you need now is to reach out and enjoy what you already have you'll enjoy the blessings of god it says in verse 14 in whom we have you see that we have it in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins we're going to inherit everything and we're going to have we're going to enjoy we're going to possess everything the lord has promised us in jesus name ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 ephesians 1 verse 13 in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also, after that he believed, he was sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance. The word earnest there, it means which is the deposit of our inheritance. It's like you already inherit a house and then somebody hands over the key unto you you say 
This is the earnest of my inheritance. This is the evidence of my inheritance. This is the key to my inheritance. It says he has given us the Holy Spirit of promise. And that Holy Spirit of promise is the key. Is the deposit. Is the evidence. Is the earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. We're told in First Peter chapter 3. First Peter chapter 3. Reading from verse 8. First Peter chapter 3. Verse 8. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren. Be pitiful, be compassionate, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing. But contrary wise blessing, knowing that ye are there unto called, that ye shall inherit a blessing. It says we are called unto a life of love, a life of compassion, a life of courtesy, respect. For one another, a life of gratitude, and that it is that life that we live, demonstrating that we are the sons of God, we are the children of God, we are joint heirs with Christ, that then shows that we know our calling, that we are called to inherit a blessing, and we are going to inherit it. I said we're going to inherit it. We're told in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 12. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 12. That she be not slothful, but followers of them, who through faith and patience inherit the promises and we're going to inherit our promises everything that belongs to us we're going to have from the Lord and it says through faith and patience we inherit the promises because they are ours remember everything that belongs to God is now available made available for us Everything that Christ enjoyed, every privilege he enjoyed, all the promises that were yes and amen in his life, they are yes and amen in our lives as well. And we're going to inherit them. I said we're going to inherit them. Romans chapter 8 verse 17. And if children, and thank God by faith was children, thank God by the cleansing of the blood of the Lamb, was children. Thank God by repentance, turning unto the Lord and giving our hearts to Christ. We're children and leave children and praise the Lord by living a life that is free from sin, a life that is free from darkness, a life that is free from evil. We become we're children of God. He proclaims us as the children of God and then he gives us graciously as children of God and he says and if children then we are heirs heirs of God heirs of God that's who you are I said that's who you are if your life is free from known sin if you are washed in the blood of the Lamb, 
if you have given your heart and your life unto Christ, and now you want as a child of God to live a life that is glorifying unto him. He says, then if we're children, then are we heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. Joint heirs with Christ. Joint heirs with Christ. What a great privilege. What a great promise. And what a great possession we have today. Thank God I have it. I say thank God I have it. Why don't you rise up then and declare, if you are a child of God, then you are a joint heir. If you are not a child of God yet, the chance is there. The door is open. You can turn away from your sin. And you can turn away from every evil in your heart, every evil in your mind, every evil in your lifestyle, and say, Lord, I know Christ died for me to take all my sins away. And Lord, I want to be a real child of God, a real son of God, and then the inheritance of the saints will be mine. Talk to the Lord in prayer and say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. You've heard about the identity of joint heirs with Christ. The identity of joint heirs with Christ. Are you a joint heir with Christ? If you're not a joint heir with Christ today, how will you be a joint heir with Christ in the future? How will you be a joint heir with Christ in the kingdom? If you're not a joint heir with Christ here on earth, how will you be a joint here with Christ in the glory that is to be revealed? Joint heir. Have you been redeemed from your sin? Have you spoken to the Lord and then you are broken off from your life of sinning? And a new change, a transformation has come upon your life. Why don't you tell the Lord, oh Lord, I want you to know. And I want to be able to have the witness of the Spirit within me that I'm a real child of God. As many as are led, as, are many, as many as are controlled, as many as are guided by the Spirit of the Lord, by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Find out from the Lord, are you a son of God? God, are you a daughter of God? If you are a daughter of God, then you are. If you are a son of God, then you are a joint heir with Christ. And that means because we are sons, He has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. He has sent the spirit of his son, the spirit of love, into our hearts. Now we can cry, Abba, Father. He has sent the spirit of his son, the spirit of joy, joy in the Lord. The spirit of peace, peace, the peace of Christ settling in your heart. All your sins forgiven. No more condemnation. The spirit of his son, the spirit of long suffering, patience, he has sent that into your heart. And you're crying, Abba, Father. You recognize him as your father. And you're saying, Oh Lord, thank you. Redeemed from sin, forgiven cleansed, washed, purified, purged. Those are the sons of God. And then you become a joint heir. A joint heir with Christ. 
identify who you are first identify where you are first and then after that identification you can then claim your inheritance children of God and remember in this the children of God are manifest in what in freedom from sin freedom from adultery freedom from fornication that the grace of God comes into your life and then you become free free indeed then are you able to say praise the Lord I am a child of God an heir of God and a joint heir and a joint heir and a joint heir with Christ and once you have identified it then you understand the implication that means now that you can claim everything Christ claimed what I mean is what he claimed in prayer what is cheated on in prayer and the trust and the faith and the confidence that he has in prayer you can have that same faith that same trust that same confidence and conviction knowing that the promises are yes and amen in your life because your joint is with Christ joint is with Christ declare what you have profess what you have hold on to what you have if you're a child of God if you're a son of God that you have the promises of Christ the promises of God they are yes and amen and you are called to inherit those promises called to inherit those promises and now you can come to the Lord and because those things belong to you already because they belong to you already you can lay hold of them without wavering you can hold onto them without doubting you can possess them without any shaking in your mind any shaking in your heart in Jesus name we pray I need an headquarters amen your tears are taken away your sorrows are taken away and your defeat is taken away don't ever cringe before the enemy you are a possessor you are a person who has inherited the blessing don't ever run to somebody and say I need deliverance you are delivered already it's like you have a Bible at home and you have a Bible in the office and you have a Bible in your hand you have Bibles everywhere then you go to someone and say I need the Bible but you have it already you are you are blessed I said you are blessed an inheritance of the saints of God will be yours in Jesus name horrible diseases are gone insurmountable problems are solved father in the name of Jesus we thank you because of the sons and the daughters and the children of God who are here today and all over who are listening oh Lord I pray every sorrow every suffering every sickness be gone in Jesus name all 
all the sufferings we have been going through because of our ignorance. I cancel that suffering, that sickness in Jesus' name. No child of God should have incurable disease. And therefore, every incurable disease, what the people of the world, what they call incurable disease, I cancel now from your life in Jesus' name. You are delivered already. Receive your deliverance in Jesus' name. Every power of Satan is broken. Every power of darkness is broken. All the curses are broken. All the yokes are broken. And every sin, every sin the devil has put in your life, he has no right to put it there because you are a joint heir with Christ. Therefore, I remove every sin in Jesus' name. How can a child of God have madness, insanity? You spirit of insanity and madness, I command you, get out in Jesus' name. How can a child of God have HIV AIDS and then be dreaming about death and running after death and talking about death? I cancel that language of death. I cancel that feeling of death. I cancel that dreaming of death. And you spirits of death, if you are going anywhere, it is not to somebody who has possessed the inheritance of the saints. The saints don't want you. And the saints will not have you. And therefore, you spirit of death, I command you, get out in Jesus' name. Premature death in the midst of the children of God, I cancel you. I destroy you, all our pregnant sisters who are here, pregnant sisters in this church, 